Hi everyone, welcome to JP Hibernate one to mini mapping example with Spring Boot. We basically create a Spring Boot project from the scratch and we define one to mini mapping using JP and Hibernate. As we know that Hibernate is one of the popular uh, you know JP implementation or a JP provider and it is one of the popular ORM framework for mapping domain models to the relational database tables. So one to many mapping means that one row in a table is mapped to multiple rows in another table. Okay. And there are two types of uh, mappings. One is unidirectional and another is bidirectional. So we can define one to many unidirectional mapping using add one to many and add join column annotation. And we can also define one to many bidirectional mapping using add one to many and add many to one annotations okay in this video i'm gonna show you how to perform one to many unidirectional mapping using add one to many annotation and add join column annotation all right so look at here this is the entity relationship diagram and this is a post table and this is comments table so post table has a primary key as id so this id becomes a foreign key in comments table all right so one post can have multiple comments all right so primary key of post table becomes a foreign key in comments table so this is the one to many relationship mapping okay and in this video i am going to show you how to perform one to many unidirectional mapping using at one to many and at join column jp annotations all right we will learn lot of stuff let's get started Let's open the Eclipse STS ID and let's quickly create and bootstrap Spring Boot project. Go to the file and then new and then choose Spring Starter project. So this is a Spring Initializer website which is integrated in Eclipse STS ID. We can use this Spring Initializer to quickly create and bootstrap Spring based projects. So let's configure our Spring Boot project. So let's give a name as Spring Boot Hibernate one to many mapping okay and keep type as a marvin packaging as a jar java version as a 8 language java and then group id net dot java rates you can give any group id that you want and artifact id is becomes our project name so let's keep artifact id as it is that is spring boot hibernate one to many mapping and keep version as it is a description is demo project for spring boot hibernate one to many mapping okay and package as net dot java guys dot spring boot so you can give any package name that you want and click on next and here we need to choose a spring uh, boot starter dependencies so keep spring boot version as it is because this is the stable spring boot release recommended by spring boot team and here we need to pick up spring boot starter dependencies so let's go and let's pick up spring data jpa dependency to create a DAO layer or a persist persistence layer so spring data jpa internally uses hibernate as a jpa provider and we are going to use mysql database so let's go and let's pick up mysql jdbc driver okay once you select all the dependencies and then hit finish so this will create a spring boot project in eclipse sts id so look at here so let's wait for a moment now we have created a spring boot project so look at here this is a main entry point of our spring boot application let's go ahead and let's configure mysql database and log levels all right let's open the application dot properties file here and let's configure database url username password so look at here the database URL is this is the JDBC URL for MySQL database and we have a demo database here and this is a username and password and this is the MySQL uh, dialect for Hibernate and this is the property which we can use to automatically create our tables and here I have defined a log levels for Hibernate so whenever we run the pro application then we can see the hibernate generated logs on a console okay so this is the database configuration and 
log levels it's pretty simple we need to define database url username password and the log levels and the hibernate dialect all right let me create a demo database in mysql workbench i am in a mysql workbench let me create a statement create database and the name of the database is demo so let's execute this statement and this will create a database so look at here demo demo database is created okay now we have configured my mysql database and we have also created a demo database in a mysql workbench all right now let us define domain models for our application so we basically define two domain models one is post and another is comment so let's first create a package so let's name it as either entity or model so i'm going to give a package name as entity let's go ahead and let's create a domain model that is post and let's go ahead and let's create a one more domain model and name it as a comment okay so let's create few fields inside a post so let's define private long id private string post title and private string post description so let's keep it very simple so let's define only three fields and here we define a list of comments so this is a one to map one to many mapping relationship so one post can have multiple comments new array list okay now let's quickly create a getter setter methods to access these private fields okay and let's also create a parameterized constructor deselect comments and id so only create for title and description so if you, you have parameterized constructor in your domain entity uh, no argument constructor like this okay now we have post class let's make this post class as a jp entity by annotating this class with jp annotations so let's use at entity annotation so we use at entity annotation to make this class as a jp entity and let's use at table annotation to provide a table details so here i'm going to give a table name as posts and you can also define a schema name for this table so let's let's use at id annotation to make this id as a primary key and let's also define a primary key generation strategy here so i'm going to i'm going to use identity as primary key generation strategy and let's use add column annotation to provide a column name so you can ignore this annotation if you don't give add column annotation then by default the column name is the name of the field okay and here let's give a column name for description and if you don't give add table annotation to the post class then the table name should be the name of the class okay now this is the important steps we need to define one to many mapping here so here let's use add one to many annotation and here we need to provide a cascade cascade type all so cascade type all means whenever we save the post entity into database along with the post all the comments are also saved in a database okay so this all means so this will apply for persist merge remove refresh and detach okay so whenever we perform these operations with post then it should be applied to comments okay because comments are child entities for post entity okay i hope you understood and this is the one to mini mapping so one post can have multiple comments
so one means one post many means many comments okay now let's use at the rate join column annotation to define the foreign key so comments table should have a foreign key right so let's define it and let's name it as let's name it as a uh, post comment foreign key something like this and here a reference or a column name is id so this is the reference column name so this primary key we are using as a foreign key in comments table right so that's why we have defined this reference column name here okay so this is very simple right so this is how we define one to many mapping now let's define comment domain model so let's go ahead and let's create a few fields private long id private string text so this is the comment text so let's quickly create a getter setter methods okay and let's also create a parameterized constructor for text field and let's also create no argument constructor and let's use add entity annotation here and also use add table annotation and the name of the table is comments okay and use add the rate add add annotation to make this id as a primary key and let's also use add generated uh, value annotation here to to provide a primary key generation strategy okay great that's all so basically we have defined two domain models post and comments and we have exhibits one to many mapping between them and in a post domain model we have used add one to many and add join column annotation to provide one to one mapping using jp annotations here okay now let's quickly define a jp repositories to access data from the database for that we first create a package and name it as repositories okay a repository and here we just create a jp repositories so let's create interface and name it as post repository okay and this interface should extend a jpa repository okay and this rep jp repository exposes crude uh, database uh, apis for post jp entity okay and here just provide long as id type and let's annotate this interface with add repository interface now let's go ahead and let's create uh, one more repository for comment so here let's type a comment repository and again this should extend jpa repository and here we need to pass a comment and id type as long okay let's annotate this repository with at at the rate repository annotation so this is how we defined two jp repositories for accessing data from the database now it's time to test our one to many mapping so for that what i will do i will just implement command line runner interface which provides a run method so basically this run method will execute whenever we start the our spring boot project okay so what here i'm going to just auto wire I am going to auto wire post repository because we need to store a post entity into database right post repository okay and inside a run method we write the code to save post and its comments to the database so let's first create a post 
equal to new post here I'm going to just pass title as one two mini mapping using JPI and Hibernate okay so this is the title of the post let's give a same to the description okay so we have created a post now let's create a few comments for this post so let's call it as a comment one we have one post object with three comments right so one post can have multiple comments so let's go ahead and let's add this comment to the post so post dot get comments dot add and let's add a comment to one to this post and let's similarly get the comments list and let's add comment to and similarly get the comment list and let's add comment 3 okay so we have added these three comments to the post now what we'll do we'll simply save post entity to the database that's it so look at here one post has multiple comments and in this post entity we are going to save into a database look at here we are using cascade type all so whenever we save post entity its comments also get stored in a database okay so let's go ahead and let's run this application and let us see the output so this is a spring boot main entry point class and here what we'll do we'll right click run as spring boot app so this spring boot application will run in an embedded tomcat server on port 8080 yeah great so let's have a look into the logs in a console so i have provided a log levels for hibernate in a application dot properties file that's why uh, there are too many logs so look at here two tables are created one is comments and another is posts and here uh, records are inserted in posts table as well as in a comments table so look at here there are three insert statements this is a one and two and three okay so as we have used cascade type all so whenever we save post its child entities that is comments are also get stored in a database so i hope you understood the usage of cascade type all okay and let's go ahead and let's see how this data is reflected in a database so let me refresh this database and look at here two tables are created posts and comments let me see the post table so look at here the post is uh, you know post record is uh, inserted here in a database and let's see the comments so this is a comments table and this is the foreign key right so one one post have multiple comments so this is the one to many relationship it's pretty simple right so let me recap what we have done so far we have created a spring project and we have defined a database url username password in application.properties file and we have defined domain models post and comment and we have defined a one to many mapping between them using jpa annotations and we have created jpa repositories to access data from the database and finally, we have written a code to test the one to mini mapping using JPA and Hibernate. So this is how we define one to mini mapping using JPA and Hibernate. If you are interested in one to one and mini to mini mapping using JPA and Hibernate, you can visit my previous video tutorials. All right. I hope you found these video tutorials useful. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Whenever I will publish such videos, you will get notified. Thanks for watching. 
I will see you in a next video.